they only had three, whether it's assistants usually are the folks sitting there doing the judging. They've only got three judges in this event, so we will not be dropping any high and low. All scores count. Yeah, so no divers from Texas A&M, no from Utah. Stanford not represented as well. We're here to the finals, so those coaches and teams in. Yes, and I'm, um, <laughs> We're going home, Regal. Back two and a half, Tuck, to kick things off. Maybe doesn't want to start off her first round with a hurdle, get some jitters in on the end of the board already. Slightly over -rotor. And on a dive sheet, the dive list for the one meter competition, traditionally how many dives will you see with a DD of three or higher? Not many at all, especially on the, on the women's side. Um, a couple here or there, but most commonly you're closer to that 2.4 to 2.6 range. Um, whereas up on three meter, there's a lot more opportunity for some big dives. 2.4 is gonna be much further on the low end. First and second has every dive three or higher except for one as her teammate Levin not in with a DD of 2.4 on the 105B. And that right there, 2.4, on those dives, you cannot miss because that's just going to be the whole point of throwing them out highs and lows is to get to those three right. middle scores. So if all you have is three judges, everything, every single score counts. This is, hey, I got somebody. Yep. Let me holler down for him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we could wire just up count, a, Just wire up a scorecard. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it. That amazes me, too, when you told me about diving. Back in the day, Levin, not when score would be kept pen and paper. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there, there were these little, like, scorecards, like, literal, literal. You would kind of flip to the score that you want to show, and you'd have a, a table of individuals writing the scores down, the next person adding them up, the next person with a calculator, multiplying. Um, I think every, everybody back then had, had some familiarity with working a diving table, and it was not is, is a success in my book. Yeah, you've talked about that so much over the years as well, that once you launch, that these divers do have an opportunity to correct in the air, correct as they're hitting the water to try to manufacture. And that could be a difference if you take a dive that's a five and make it a six or a six into a six and a half. These margins so tight. Eleven knot. Oh, uh, see, you know what? If she had a great hurdle, but just did not have the speed off of the diving board. Better, a little bit more balanced than what we saw, but she's got to get into that rotation, get a little quicker in the air, just doesn't have make that dive all the way. It's tied with her last dive for the hardest of her six. Struggled with dive in round number four what does she bounce back with here a full out and it's pretty good i think just needs to kind of clean up the entry a little bit which comes from not having maybe as much time as she needs to get her get her body perfectly straight as she's hitting the water has to pull real hard right there and just barely makes it in time if she gives herself a little bit more time maybe a little off of the diving board she'd be able to clean that up a bit We've got six and a half. Five. Oh, hit the hot tub? Or? Yeah. Absolutely. Just got to warm up. It's cold in here for a diver. <laughs> Living out 405C. TD of 2.7 for her final dive. Oh, man. That looked so good in the air. The top of that dive was exactly great speed off of the diving board, great distance from the board. Just when she comes out and reaches for the water, she sort of reaches under too much for where she should be going, and that causes...